Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the speed on this DJI Air 3. Well, if you're using any other drone also, if it's Mavic 3, Air 3 or Mini 4 Pro, any drone which you are using. So I'll show you a cool trick which you can use to increase the speed inside the controller settings. So I'll be comparing this drone speed with the normal uh, mode without changing any settings. Uh, cine mode, normal mode and the sports mode. After that, I will show you a cool trick to increase the speed. So after modifying those settings, I will fly it again and compare it to the previous speeds and the uh, uh, speeds after changing the settings. All right, let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's hit the screen recording. So in the controller settings here, I'm going to uh, keep my units uh, in the controller settings, units to kilometers. So we will be able to see how many kilometers per hour. All right, let's get started. Let's take off. Set this drone for a long run. All right, I'm going to put my drone into the cine mode. Let's see uh, how is the speed. This is going to be round one on the cine mode. All right, it's going forward. So we are getting about 17.7 uh, kilometers, 17.3, 77, that is the maximum speed which we are getting here right now. It's not going more further than 17.7 kilometer per hour. Yeah, that is the maximum speed which we are getting here. Oh, it went to the 18 kilometers also. But this drone is much faster than you think. I'll show you how you can increase the speed. That is very cool trick if you didn't know before you will learn it now all right uh, so the cine mood was about 17.7 kilometer that was the maximum all right now my drone is on the normal mood now now it's on the normal mood let's push it forward now and let's see how fast is this drone all right so on the normal mode, I'm getting, uh, let me just increase the speed a bit, 34, 35, so between 34 and 35, that is the maximum speed which uh, I was getting, let's uh, move it the other side again, I think it was detecting the obstacles, alright, let's test it again on the normal mode, alright, yes, is about uh, 45, 46, 48, between 48 and 49 that is the maximum speed on the normal mood, that is uh, quite impressive, that is quite impressive. All right. So now when I will bring it back, let's, put it, let's push it to the sports mode and see how fast is this drone on the sports mode without changing or, or modifying any settings. Alright, going forward, sports mode. So it's doing 63, 64. 73 kilometers per hour 74 so it just hit it the 75 as well uh, let me just turn it back again okay one more round Seventy two, seventy three, seventy five. All right, so between 74 and 75, that was the maximum speed I was getting uh, on this drone, on the sports mode. Now I'm going to show you how you can change those settings and increase the speed of this drone. That is actually very cool stuff and it's very simple and easy trick. So here in the settings, so here in the controller settings, uh, we will be on the safety. So go to the control. Here you'll see the gain and export tuning. And here now you can see on the normal mood, on the normal mood right now, my max horizontal speed is 49 km per hour. 
I can increase it to max 54, max ascent is 19 kilometers. I can push it to 21 maximum and descend also maximum. On the sports mode here, you can see the maximum horizontal speed is 75. I can push it to maximum 97 kilometers per hour. Can you believe it? <laughs> this drone can go up to 100 kilometers. <laughs> max ascent speed uh, uh, is uh, 36 now and max descent also. So everything is on max now. Now let's see how fast is this drone. First of all, I think uh, I will uh, fly it on the normal mode. Let's see how improved is the normal mode now. All right. I will just increase the altitude a bit more so it will not detect any obstacles around in the way. All right. After modifying these settings, let's see how fast is this drone on the normal mode. All right, it's already over 50, 52, 53, 54. So on the normal mode, the max speed still I'm getting is uh, 54 kilometers per hour. That is on the normal mode. Now the main fun part is going to come now when I'm going to push it to the sports mode. And now you will see the significant uh, increase in the speed now on the sports mode. Let's push it to the sports mode now. And let's see how fast this thing will go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Alright, it's over 70, 77, 80, 85. Alright, I'm gonna increase the altitude a bit more. Let's go. Let's see how fast this drone will go now. It's trying about uh, 84, 85, 86, 88. All right, so, so far, 84, 84 was the best speed which we got. That is uh, quite impressive, actually, it's not bad. 88 kilometers per hour. All right, now we are testing the auto return to home also to get the stone back. So we can talk while the drone is coming back. So you, you just saw how you can increase the speed. On the sports mode, I just saw a significant dif difference uh, after changing or modifying those settings. But you can always keep the settings below also. Obviously, when you increase the speed, you put more stress, more pressure on the motors as well. That is not good uh, mm -hmm. for the long run. Uh, if you keep it on the default setting, that is best. That is great for the drone. But this is just for the testing purpose and uh, to teach you something new so if you increase the speed on the sports mode you will see a significant uh, difference there my drone is coming back let's see if it's going to land on my car or what and there i can see right now <laughs> where this drone is going to land now <laughs> it's saying the landing is not clear All right, it has landed on the same place where we took off. It came back to the home position. So I hope you learned something new in this video. If you do like the video, please subscribe my channel. Until next time, ciao, ciao.